uh, we found that uh, at the patient who developed invasive pneumococcal disease uh, is a serious uh, fa uh, fatal disease caused by the streptococcus pneumonia is associated with an asthma status. It's a precisely speaking, in, in, in a scientific term, individual who developed invasive pneumococcal disease are seven times more likely to be individuals who have asthma. So that is a main study findings. If I'm giving you some a little background about this study was basically we studied this study because if you're looking at the CDC put out a list of we so-called pneumococcal vaccine eligible conditions is then meaning is a high risk condition for invasive pneumococcal disease. Those are listed of conditions are probably more than dozens. So looking at the epidemiologic data about only about 50 percent of invasive pneumococcal disease actually who developed in uh, the 50 percent of individuals who developed invasive pneumococcal disease actually had those high risk conditions then question just naturally comes in what about the other 50 percent is coming from so there was a kind of a background so whether asthma play a role any contributing to the burden of this disease or not. So at this point, uh, that's a, our kind of a main study findings in a summary or so. The, as I said, an asthmatic patient indeed at increased risk of developing IPD. So it is actually in a kind of scientific term we say in the other way around. So individual with individual who developed invasive pneumococcal disease have a seven times more likely be those who have a history of asthma is interpreting this way, meaning is an asthmatic patient who are indeed at increased risk of invasive pneumococcal disease as compared to non-asthmatics. So what, what, what is that meaning? Meaning is invasive pneumococcal disease is, uh, is one of the diseases actually the vaccine preventable disease, actually because we have vaccines. Uh, this is a kind of an interesting part and uh, at the recent uh, advisory committee on immunization practices, which is a governing uh, body in the United States for immunization practices in this country, often uh, the leading uh, immunization schedule in other countries as well. And they uh, unanimously voted to include asthma in pneumococcal uh, vaccine eligible conditions. So that I think I believe the provisional recommendations are already out there. So uh, asthmatic adult, adult with an asthma should receive a pneumococcal vaccine.